So this is my uh, B250 Expert 19 uh, GPU mining rig. It consists of 13 1080 Ti's and 6 P106 mining cards. Uh, I didn't go full 19 1080 Ti because uh, Asus currently has some sort of 13 card limit with the uh, B250 so you have to use 6 mining cards if you want to go over that. This is running on Linux. NVOC is the operating or the special build that I'm using made just for mining. Um, I'm using a wireless Wi-Fi card instead of an Ethernet cord just because I wanted to have one less cable. It's also using just a simple 32 gigabyte ultra fit um, micro USB plug for the operate or for the uh, instead of a hard drive just because I wanted to get rid of uh, having a, a having a hard drive lying around with the extra power cable just to simplify things. I recently added this 55 millimeter fa uh, 55 centimeter fan in the back. It's 120 watts power. Um, since the addition of that fan, I'm not sure how much I need all these PC fans. I used to have a few more, uh, and I also have PC fans uh, slid in between uh, the, the frame here that are all blowing air upwards. You can kind of see them. There's some there. There's some right there. Um, I found that the blower cards were really hot, so uh, I tried to space out the blower cards. Uh, from each other. Uh, initially I had all the blower cards on top and I found that the top row was extremely hot. So I don't know if it's made any real improvement but I've spaced them out by using um, uh, the P106 cards as well as some of my um, uh, triple fan uh, 1080 Ti. So uh, I try, do by doing that I try to space everything out a little bit. Uh, it's been running stable for over a month now. Getting about uh, 10,000 200 uh, souls, uh, Equihash only. I haven't been able to get it to mine um, uh, any other algorithms. Very stable, but that's not bad, anyways. I don't have any. I think I have everything running at uh, I don't know 3,000 watts, 3,200 watts. So it makes between like I don't know 40 dollars a day. But you know maybe it'll do 80 dollars a day on Bitcoin Gold. We'll see how that works out. So maybe I can expect payoff in about a year, maybe less, maybe more, something like that. But uh, it did cost uh, probably, I don't know, $13,000. Because you think about the 1080 Ti's were $700 each. Uh, P106's were about three, or hmm, I can't remember, I don't know, 100 bucks each, something like that. So I think that's all I have to say, and uh, hopefully one day I can upgrade this to use more 1080 Ti's. But otherwise it's great, keeps the apartment real warm. We'll see what I'm going to do during the summer, but uh, right now during the winter it is extremely welcome. And it's actually not too loud. Here, let me pull up my uh, sound meter to show you. Kind of hard to see, but... looking at about 56 up front and uh, if we move farther away towards uh, the computer where I'm sitting it's more like 50 decibels so it's not that bad overall really. Thank you for checking out my video. Lastly I wanted to add that I'm using three PSUs uh, on this rig. I have two 2400 watt uh, uh, server PSUs from ParallelMiner.com and I'm also using one EVGA 1600 watt PSU. Uh, in the future, I'm probably planning to swap out the, the ATX EVGA PSU just because it's expensive and the server PSUs work out great. Um, the server PSUs can get loud, but I tend to run them at 50% uh, load, which keeps the noise very tolerable. So I'm, I'm definitely got a lot of headroom on my rig here. Also, I wanted to add that uh, uh, even though I have three uh, PSUs here, I'm using, uh, I only have the, the one that's powering the motherboard is hooked up to a Wi-Fi power outlet thing here. So when I'm away, 
or in a different country, I can actually still hard reset the rig, even though the uh, the server PSUs are still on. As long as the PSU that's connected to the motherboard uh, powers off, you're able to get the entire thing to reset in case you have a hard, uh, in case your computer freezes or something like that. That's it.